back to another review. So today we are going to take a little look at the Aegis Mini. Gorgeous little mod. So let's get an up close look at this and see what we're dealing with. Okay guys, here it is, the packaging for the Aegis Mini. Alright. And of course. So, inside of this packaging you are going to get a bag of O-rings. I love that they've colour coded the O-rings to the mod when you buy the kit. A spare glass for your Cerberus tank. And of course, a spare mesh coil. You're also going to receive a little envelope with your warranty cards in. And of course, an instruction manual. So, let's get a little look at the mod and the tank itself. There we go. It's really well made, this mod. I love this colour as well, it's fantastic. A little bit of leather with some stitching. And there's our display. So, first off, let's go over the Cerberus tank. The Cerberus tank comes with single mesh coils, which are 0.3 ohms, rated 30 to 45 watts, and best between 30 and 40 watts. Now, personally, I like these around 45 watts, uh, just because I like a warmer vape, and with this being a smaller kit, it just hits a little bit better for me. Now, this is a TPD uh, version of this, so it is going to be a 2mm capacity tank, which I know isn't exactly fantastic, but it's what we have to deal with here in the UK. The airflow on this thing is super smooth, super, super smooth. Also, when it's wide open, that is a lot of air. I don't think anyone's going to need that much air on, you know, between 30 to 40 watts. So, on to the mod. Now, this is waterproof, shockproof, runs between eight, 5 watts and 80 watts, and impressively, this apparently has an output up to 8 volts, which for the size of it, containing a 2200 mAh battery, uh, is quite impressive to be honest with you. So, as we mentioned, it is a built-in battery. Alright, so, and here's your little charge port. If we can get it open, that is. There we go. And the only thing that I want to say about this charger port is this little piece of rubber here that holds this on. Can you see that? It's very, very thin. I don't know how long that's actually going to last, but... We'll give them the benefit of the doubt on that one. Now, this will run in power mode, as I have it right now. Temperature control, power curve, and also bypass. So, to get this into another power mode, if we just... One, two, three, and it will highlight power. Nickel, temperature control, stainless steel, titanium, TCR a variable power curve and bypass mode. Now, personally, I keep it in power mode and if you just hold that, we'll lock it back in. So, overall, it's a pretty snazzy little mod, to be honest with you. It's very compact, very, very small. Uh, let me just see if I've got something for comparison here. So, there's my tugboat that I normally use and you can see the size difference there. It's a very, very small mod. So, let's get back up top, guys. We'll have a little chat about this. We'll go through the pros and the cons, and I'll get you some prices, all right? Okay, guys. Here we are, back up top, with the Aegis Mini Kit. So, overall, what do we think of this? Generally, I think it's a really good kit. The thing that I totally love about this thing is just the fact that they've taken all the best properties from the Aegis and the Aegis Legend and put them into this little mini. Now I don't know if how many of you guys know, but I work outside in quite a tough job. My mods are constantly getting wet, they're getting covered in dust, they just they get really horrible to be honest with you. This little thing, I took it to work for about a week and just gave it a good hard testing. 
and see to be honest done really well done really really well I didn't find any dirt in and around anywhere everything was really well sealed gorgeous so pros and cons guys the first pro that I would give to this is it's really durable and it's well built um, I mean it's you know it's completely solid it feels absolutely great in hand the rubber that's on this or, or the silicon that's on the outside of this it's fantastic in the hand feels really good um, the multiple work modes in it I think is really good now it's not something that's new to any of us we see this in a lot of different mods the thing that I like about the amount of work modes that they've put into this is just the fact that it's such a small dinky little mod with so many features um, cramming that into a small package uh, especially in a starter kit for people who are just getting into vaping it's fantastic it's really good it gives you all the options that you would possibly need um, as far as cons go um, the only con I've found with this uh, so far and I'm just quickly going to grab one just now the 510 on this appears to be quite shallow uh, and the only reason that I say that is if I just grab my Iconic here now the Iconic does have quite a long 510 on it but when I screw this down on at the age of mini look at that gap that is unreal okay now that doesn't happen with all atomizers uh, I've found it to happen with two or three I found several others that do come right down and there's no gap in it at all um, but really I mean I know people are buying a kit not everybody's going to keep it as a kit some people are going to want to use their own you know their own hardware on top of this device um, so I mean that's that's the only real con I would give to this so the only uh, the only other thing guys is prices now I've seen this on eSig1 for $49.99 which is actually quite a good price for something like this something that's so durable um, so I would advise if you work in any kind of outdoor job or anything like that definitely get yourselves one of these the 2200 ma battery in it when I first got this I thought oh no here we go half a day it's going to be dead now if you leave it in bypass mode then yeah it probably is only going to last you about half of a day running that at 45 watts I get really a whole day out of it and the mesh coils and that Cerberus tank wow the flavour is fantastic I'm normally exclusively uh, a dripper uh, I use tanks and stuff for review but wow that really stood out to me uh, so overall guys let's say 8 out of 10 really well done from Geek Vape and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did subscribe and like uh, if you don't already follow my Instagram, please go and have a little look at some of the images. That's stag underscore vapes. I'll pop it just down here for you. And uh, thanks again, guys. Anybody who keeps repeatedly watching these videos, thanks massively. It really helps the channel. And uh, have a good day, guys.